It's your boy, Randy Spaghetti here. We're talking Oscars. Ooh. The list was announced today. We're not gonna talk about a any little baby categories like sound design, Gaga, little sound go, go. design. Every Gaga, freaking year, go, go. sound design's either Gaga, some go, go. random Chris Nolan movie or some random war movie or some random Disney product. Who cares? We're talking about the big boys, the big boy categories today, and we're kicking it off with actor in a leading role. We've got Javier Bardem and Being the Ricardos, Benedict Cumberbatch, Power of the Dog, Andrew Garfield, Tick, Tick, Boom, Will Smith, King Richard, and Denzel Washington in Tragedy. Tragedy of Macbeth. It's not a bad list. It's it's pretty good, honestly. I Will Smith is good. He's my least favorite on this list. Um, I might go with Benedict Cumberbatch here. I think he gave the best performance. You're gonna want to keep your distance and just off the horse. Anyhow, it's you know on conversation. You've been listening to the Panano and dancing, I guess. You dance. Actress in a leading role, Jessica T Chastain in The Eyes of Tammy Faye, Olivia Coleman, The Lost Daughter, Penelope Cruz, Parallel, Parallel Mothers, which hasn't come out for me yet, Nicole Kidman for Being the Ricardos, and Kristen Stewart for Spencer. Another pretty good list. I, I don't care for Nicole Kidman in Being the Ricardos. I think she was a little miscast. She she does a good job with like the accent and such, but eh, don't care for her. Uh, my money's on Olivia Coleman. I loved her in the, in the Lost Daughter. I think she's fantastic. I think she gives a really nuanced and interesting performance. I thought you said you were pregnant with your first. I am. What were your daughters like when they were little? Were, were they like this willful little creature? I don't want to say, I can't remember much, actually. Oh, no, you can't forget anything about your own children. Is that your experience? All right, next up is directing. Uh, we've got Belfast, Kenneth Branagh, Drive My Car, uh, Rizuki Hamaguchi, Tamagachi, don't know his name, uh, Licorice Pizza, Paul Thomas Anderson, Power of the Dog, Jane Champion, and West Side Story, Steven Spielberg. Wow. Okay. I don't love this list. No Guillermo del Toro for uh, Nightmare Alley. No Joe Cohen for Tragedy of Macbeth. Oh boy. Uh, Mike Mills, come on, come on. That hasn't even been on here. Jo Joaquin Phoenix should have been nominated. Wow. Oh, I'm shook actually. This is this is an awful list. <laughs> I haven't seen Drive My Car, but wow, Kenneth Branagh for Belfast, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. I wouldn't be opposed to Paul Thomas Anderson, even though I thought Licorice Pizza was, like, fine. But I think if I had to pick, it might go to Kenneth Branagh, which would make me projectile vomit into my, my own crotch. These boys are suffering. I don't think we've got till Easter. I don't think you and me have got till Easter either. Let's uh, let's talk about writing, I guess. Adapted screenplay, we've got Coda, Drive My Car, Dune, The Lost Daughter, Power of the Dog. Pretty good lineup, honestly, pretty good lineup. Coda's the weakest, but uh, pretty good lineup. Uh, Power of the Dog's my pick, and that's probably what's gonna win. You dance? Best original screenplay, Belfast, Don't Look Up, King Richard, Liquor's Pizza, and The Worst Person in the World. Another absolutely atrocious, horrific lineup. Worst Person in the World's the best by far. That's my pick. If it goes to the Don't Look Up, I will die. We're at Best Picture. Best Picture, the biggest award of the night. First one makes me want to absolutely jump off a bridge. Belfast. Why, though? Belfast. Are you serious, dude? This movie is one of the most boring things I've seen all year. Kenneth Branagh's direction is incredibly bland. Nothing happens. The entire thing feels like it's the second act of a movie that just, just stretched out for an hour and a half. God. Next is Coda, which hasn't I haven't seen, period, so far, but... In, but it's best picture now? I mean, it's a good movie. But best picture, dude? Oh, okay. I'm sick. I'm absolutely sick. Oh, don't look up, bro. Dude, oh, I am gonna... I gotta take a walk. I gotta take a walk. I gotta take a lap here. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Don't look up, bro. Dude, what are we doing? <sighs> okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. Next up is Drive My Car. I absolutely hate Don't Look Up. Why? Drive My Car. Haven't seen it. It's three hours long. It's not in the U.S. God. Dune. 
Great movie. Awesome pick. The first one that I've seen that is actually legitimately good. King Richard. Why? <laughs> King Richard is a fine movie, but best picture, bro. What are we doing? All right, Licorice Pizza. Good movie. Best picture? Okay, I can see it compared to some other ones. Nightmare Alley. So why isn't Guillermo best director? What? Power of the Dog and West Side Story. Okay. That is one of the most horrific lists for best picture I've seen in a long time. Wow. I am absolutely going to throw up on my Jordans right now. You see these boys? They're about to be stained yellow. All right. Well, now we got to pick. Uh... Out of these, I think my favorite is uh, Nightmare Alley or Power of the Dog. I think my pick would be Power of the Dog. I like Nightmare Alley more, but Power of the Dog, I think, deserves it more. Um, but I think the Oscars are going to mess around and give it to some absolute train wreck like Don't Look Up or Belfast. <sighs> I think it might be Don't Look Up, just because it's that political movie that they love championing. Championing. Oh boy. I'm absolutely gonna vomit. Kronos! <laughs> Don't be sorry. Come on. You're gonna be a god in the sky. I'm gonna look up.